Hi guys and welcome back to Galgorm Hall. I'm in the process of making capping stones for the top of a retaining wall and I just thought I'd throw this little video together to show you how I'm actually going about it. First of all we need um, a couple of strips of plastic card. These have been cut to 3mm each and we're going to glue them together. Once they're glued together, make sure they're level on at least one side or both sides. Um, take a piece of sandpaper and bevel one edge. Now, if you were do using these capping stones for the, say, the parapets of uh, a bridge you would want to bevel both sides these are for retaining wall the other side of which is going to be uh, plaster bandage with uh, the embankment so I don't need to worry about both sides so if you are going to bevel both sides maybe give um, a little bit more width to your initial bit of plastic card maybe um, four to five mils instead of just the three mils that I've done but anyway Sandy's Sand this down just until you get a little bit of an angle. It will just help with finishing the detail on it whenever it gets set onto the um, the thing that you're building rather than a, a square edge. If you just want to do a square edge, I'm sure that works just as well. Right, I think that'll do. Bend that a little bit, but that's okay. Now, can you see there's a slight edge to that now running down that. Okay, on top of that, we are going to put a strip of, now this is Slater's plastic card dress stone, and it is one course of brick. And I've just cut the, the full length of that course. And we're going to glue that to the top of our plastic card strip. Add that on, bring it up to the edge of the uh, the bevel section so that it's sitting back a little bit from the rest of the plastic card. Again um, the dress stone has different thicknesses to it, so you maybe would just want to measure this up against um, what you're working with uh, before you make the cut of the plastic card beneath. But again, because I'm only working the one side, I don't mind the overhang on the back because that's all going to be hidden once the, the plaster bandage is um, built in around it. Nobody's going to see that. So anyway, there you are. Trim the excess off. And that's it. One, oh no, actually, one other thing before we do that. See the little, um, the tops? What we'll do is just, using this little tool that I have here, I, at the, at the lines, run that little tool down, and that just extends the brick right down the sides. Maybe I'll have to clean that up just with a, um, a, not a wire brush, but a stiff brush. And that'll give you the brick right the way down each side. And there you are. You've got one strip of capping stone to go along your bridge parapet, your training walls, whatever. All you need to do now is give it a lick of paint, weather it and pop it in place. Here's a couple of photos of uh, some of the pieces that I've been doing for the retaining wall. Thanks for watching. Chat soon. Bye.